I kind of take all my business sense, I guess, from Coca-Cola. I mean, I, it wasn't that I was a disgruntled employee. I just, um, I'd done the corporate world for 22 years and everything I have is from that. I just was tired of the corporate world and I wanted to do it, not necessarily for myself, but I just wanted to do, I, when I first started with Coke, I was in uh, the sales department and in my last 10 years, I was in the distribution part and I miss the customer service part. I'm one of those crazy people that love serving the public uh, in many different ways and uh, you know, the public is what drive me. And uh, I don't know, it's just one of those things that with my, uh, not that I needed her approval, but I, when, when Heather and I talked about it, she says, you know, I'm, I'm behind you if you want to do this. So we did it and um, it's, it's been very rewarding. It, at times it's tougher than I thought it would be, but then at times it's more rewarding than I thought it would be. Sure. And you know, and I have to say, and I, and I know I mentioned this in other conversations, but there was many other business owners that offered support, suggestions, you know, friends that I've got to know over the years at different bars say, hey, if you have any questions, let me know. And, and I can't thank all of them enough for what they did because, you know, they could have looked at me as competition or they could have, like, you know, looked at me as they want somebody to be successful. And I feel like that's what they did, not only to our neighbors, Gellas, you know, they catered over a meal for us one time, our first Valentine's, I believe. Um, Tim Herman at Daylight Donut, Danny Herman at the Q, you know, just different. Uh, suggestions, questions, uh, many from uh, Toby Jug said, hey, if you ever need anything or just let me know. And uh, I know Breathe Coffee Shop, they actually, at that time, we still sold uh, cappuccinos. Uh, they actually took one of my employees and trained her how to do cappuccinos at the time. And you know, that, that's just haze in general. I mean, people were great, but it really made you feel good that you had the community support and friends support when you start a business that I had no clue how to run a bar. I, I knew how to take care of customers. That, to me, that's the easy part. The run the bar is definitely uh, something that's been new for me. You now, when we first bought it, it was a fancy upscale kitchen and design store with a small cafe in the back uh, that seat, seated 16 people. And we wanted to expand the lunch bistro items. And so we brought that in to the bigger store, created 64 places to have seats and parties. We've had now um, baby showers and bridal showers. We've had a surprise wedding in our back formal room, which was very fun. Um, we've also added live music on the weekends at night, and it's been very popular. We've seen lots of people come out to support local artists as well as artists that have come from across the country, actually, yeah. uh, wanting to play at the pair. So we are delighted to have them. Uh, we participate in the art walks here um, in downtown Hayes and love seeing all of the different artists and what they have to bring to downtown. Um, and in and any activities with Downtown Hayes, uh, we participate in all those events and are excited for any time that we have something to do with them.